Oh, we got a badge. Well, hello everybody. My name is Carl. Welcome to Aeronautica, a flight simulator slash RPG experience. Today, or yesterday, a new update has been released, version 1.155. Pause the video to read the update notes. And look at this menu. <laughs> and it's also got my last flight. <laughs> And now there's a button for the music. <laughs> you don't have to use the settings menu. <laughs> ah, there's a <laughs> new sound effect for pressing a button. Still zero. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, so just we have the X15. Yeah, another lucky dealership at the last old server. But, but in any case, let's just get on with this. So the first thing is teleporting to Horamoto Air Force Base. It's now a transition to black and then to the to the hangar menu. So where is Horomono Air Force Base? So we'll use this 8i with an Air China livery, Boeing 747-8 Intercontinental. What do you think of this livery? Do you think the logo is large? More details? And we'll also teleport the X-15 that I recently bought. And this is for reselling. Ah, it hides the... The choices disappearing and appearing. Let's move the vehicle. And this is... First new aircraft sold. This one, it's a blue rarity. The the Avic AG six hundred M Kun Long. The fish dragon. So let's make this quick. Where's the Okay, so White, blue, gray, so 
So color one, it's not white and gray. It's not the prototype scheme. So we'll just make it all anti-flash white. That's your color one. And your color two, the vertical stabilizer, make that the same. <laughs> Do you think it's annoying? This clicking sound and oh <laughs> the jack-o'-lantern moon is back color three the wings and horizontal stabilizers Right, so A is 1, G is 7, M is 13, so 4, 8, 600 is C, is C, 6, so 14, that's 14, 5, so numerology wise, 0, 09, so it would say 0 0.09, that's the preferred reflectance rate <laughs> the kunlong bird dragon And I couldn't say giant fish in Chinese mythology. And next one here, this is the a boat, or should I say a battleship. The finest of all World War II Imperial Japanese Navy, the Yamato. For reference, the color one is the hull. So, what is Battleship Gray? Hmm. 84, 84, 82. Or it should be lighter. I think it could be lighter than this kind of gray. All right, they're sending cycle. And oh my goodness, I'm the last one on this vanilla server. So let's go back to the Yamato. Yamato it's, you know, they reset the colors. Again, 84, 84, 82. That's the battleship gray, at least for most of the historical navies. And color two are the armaments. So that aircraft gray. And then color three, let's make that aircraft gray as well. The other parts of the boat or battleship <laughs> should have been lighter. What about this one? The <laughs> British style aircraft gray. And there's Yamato. Or a title here a Yamato class battleship. <laughs> and uh, it has zero capacity. <laughs> Why does this have zero capacity? Or maybe this is an oversight. I could check the new server. All right, let's go back. And the next. Newly released plane is at Norman International.
So where is Norman? Which plane can we choose from here? Maybe this F-22A? It's brand new, so from this side, flight? Or this, not this art flight, it's a... Uh, yeah. Yeah, this art flight sold this. He might be selling some more of these. It's uh, 99011. Where's the missing number around here? It's the manufacturer registration. Alright, let's move there to the F-22A and go to the dealership. So, here it is, the VTOL, vertical takeoff or landing. The Bell XV-15. Alright, so white, blue, red. Color one is... Let's make that aircraft white. Of course, it's, it doesn't match. Color two, wings and stabilizers. Color three, the fins, vertical stabilizers, and the engines. It's swapped from color two. <laughs> yeah, the the wing should have been color three, and then the engines and uh, stabilizers color two. But here's your XV15. And the corresponding boat is also Orange Rare, the Iowa class. Uh, you got a competitor there. So let's. Alright, so Battleship Grey. Okay, so color one, the hull. A darker aircraft grey for the. for color two, and color three is the deck. Should be a shade of brown. Air brown. Oh, it's a no. It's a little more lighter than this. Oh, <laughs> um, the scaling is still off. But this can work. Here's the Iowa. <laughs> the Iowa class. It also has zero capacity. I want to at least get some. So it's status symbol now. What use of these? Will they have a future use or just for role playing purposes? The Iowa class. How do I center this? All right then. Now let's teleport to our Boeing 737-800 freighter, or 
blow and converted freighter. Oh, <laughs> nine. All right. It's also here at Norman. And and it has followed the footsteps of the other next generation. 800, 900. It used to have a prime air livery. And only the wings ID. That's <laughs> usual. Yeah, the the fuse also the the main body was like a bit crude there, but in any case we're gonna look at the advanced customization. And there's a lot. Would you like to put SATCOM? It's over here. And it has sort rate performance variant. <laughs> yes. Special performance. It's on the tail area. And we like eyebrow windows. Yeah, I, it's over here. I know it's black. Let's just. Oh my goodness. There we go. Just a temporary measure. So eyebrow windows. You know, you want one. It's default, and no eyebrow windows. Also the there, the sp special performance, and the nose vortex generators. This little here the grooves here, and the engines. It's yeah, these are, yeah, the same as the normal 800. Here's the CFM56 7B Evolution, 7B EE. Just add some range. And then also, as usual, the, the Belly UV standard or Want the performance improvement package? You know, this has a different shape, and then rectangle instead of round so for the difference. Standard, improved, standard, improved. And of course, you want <laughs> you want a belly UV, and also the winglets. Well, I don't think any of the Boeing Converter Freighters use split scimitars, so again, here's no winglets. Here's the blended winglets. Again, should have said blended winglets to be more specific. Or is that something for the 757? And split scimitars. As I said, do you see any Converter Freighters with these? So let's just, for good reason, let's just make it with winglets. You can also change the base variant. Here's the default Boeing Converted Freighter. Let's just make these default. You want to add a painted stuff plate. Yeah, you want to paint this thing. there, this one here. Yeah, you want to put something in here. You can also convert it to the special freighter. It has the doors. There's nothing inside there. It's, yeah, there's, yeah, for some reason, yeah, nothing inside. <laughs> Missed opportunity, but <laughs> here's the special freighter. There's still nothing inside. Yeah, these two doors. Put a put a exit arrows on the wings ID. There's also the bedeck standard freighter. 
BDSF. And where the where's the cargo door? And also the combi. So passengers here, cargo here. It's a win win. So if you in case you want a combi, you'll have to convert it to a freighter. But anyways, this is the Boeing 737-800 freighter combi. It's a special freighter, Boeing converted freighter, the next standard freighter, or in some cases the combi. And next part of the update, let us teleport to Oakport. So off from Norman, the city of Las Vegas, to where is Oakport? Oh, let's just look. Oakport. So, what could we use here? The, here we'll use this one, the Hungry Air Cargo, a 330-200 freighter. Or the this one, the Lufthansa Cargo, one triple seven F. With a, it's a Delta Dash Alpha Lima Foxtrot Alpha. And what's that again? Yeah, Guten Tag something. It. Yeah, I think it says Guten Tag. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I should look look it up again. So, so what do you think of this Triple Seven Freighter livery? Foxtrot Alpha. And yes, I've already sold my own Triple Seven to other players. Anyway, let's get here to Oakport and then let us teleport a fighter. Or I have an idea. Instead of a fighter, let's let's just use something I've never used in a while. The X1. Yeah, it's overdue for a model. <laughs> or it's a livery? Yeah. Overdue for <laughs> livery map. Uh, 16 times the default. So, so we'll be heading to this one here, Manly Airfield. Right, here's your X1. And let's start the engines. Oh, I can't see the wind conditions here. It says there's 42. So 42 is around there. So let's, let's taxi to the runway here. So our destination is Manly Airfield. We'll set this as the waypoint. TI class, then LZ, yeah, Hindenburg, 129. And oh, <laughs> oh my. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit difficult to maneuver. Yeah, 2% throttle. Continue there. Let's the on we see dots of Piat. Let's say the cargo ship, the Sus class. It's a PC twelve. 
That's uh, lucky you'd see 130, and oh, we're off again. That floating point issue. Let's go for an afterburner takeoff. Course to Manly or Manley. I wonder where we I think it's across the hills. Is this one? I think this should be it. If you said manly, it's 29 degrees, 1.3 knots. So we might need to go around and take a 180. Accessibility. Okay, point nine, and this is one. So this is what you get for scale one. But if you lower the scale, increase the scale, this button would be somewhere else. Right, lower the landing gear. Right now. 
Can we not override? Oh, we're overrun. Yeah, it's not... Yeah. Screw the physics. And we're now here. So, oh no! <laughs> Slight hiccup. Alright, let's just park it to the hangar. So, another base of some sort. There we go. Oh, black screen, you know, black screen, okay, that be... Alright, so, take a look at this before we go into the next part. So, before the update, it used to be empty. They just added some highlighting. So is this for air shows or Okay, so that's a good screenshot. Or is it... Or this. Alright, it's probably for the thumbnail, then. So let's end the flight. We parked at the airfield. Manley, Manly. We don't have to. Let's overhaul the X1. And what plane can we use in here? Maybe a C-130. Yeah, let's move this Royal Australian C-130. And then another There's also the F thirty five or Australian. Let's get all the Australian ones here. Or not all the Australian ones because just a couple. There's still yet an Australian airport to be added in this game. But anyways, here is Manly Airfield, or Manley, Manly, Manley. So our only one words are zero four and two two. Traffic is always square. And it's only aim at up to two fifty six zoom and sixteen or eight yeah eight and two fifty six and and there we go commands all right then. So there is the airfield. 
Let's see, what's next on my notes? Alright, let's also teleport to the new Camp Cygnus. It will be named as Kepler 4B. So K, 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 K. Alright, so Kepler 4B Research Station. We'll use this cell bowl. Boeing 767, or... <laughs> it's fine. Uh, these are all resellables. But we'll try this. One, not try this one. We'll select this as our teleporting, teleporting instrument, the Spirit of Louisiana. What do you think of this B2 delivery? Are all 19 of these bombers made by the same artist? It's facing there and facing there. So uh, it starts with W instead of M. And the underbelly. And here's the new improved Camp Cygnus, and its location's been moved as well. Aside from that, it's not much has changed. It's, it's no longer on top of an iceberg. Uh, yeah, I forgot. It's only eight times zoom minimum. Or is it the maximum? Or what do you think is the minimum? Is it the eight, the eight scale, or the two hundred fifty-six scale? It could be called maximum. Yeah, it's, this is the maximum because the zoom out. And for the current location, look at the map and let's recenter it it's right here. Now in oh, yeah, it used to be somewhere near Anakson. Uh, yeah, around here. Now parallel with the Air Olympics field, <laughs> they call it Irhorsk or something. And that is that. There's the the Kepler Four research station, and we can see a plane landing. Let's it's <laughs> and yeah, it didn't go well. It's up. Uh, Bombardier? Yeah, the GL-70. And Washington just came in and just left. So, another old server is about to fall. Or, let's, see, let's say goodbye to this old server of 425142. Different music, uh, yeah, they, they changed the music to a new one. Alright, let's say goodbye to the server. And we'll go to the. There's a. Where's the patch? Yeah, are there any patch patches? And oh, I just typed it before I recorded it. It's the last point. 0 0.1 all gone all right 0 0 0 0 0 0 so what's the path i really want to know anybody in the comments who tell me what this point 0 0.1 patch is and what's the difference between that and yeah and the latest one 0 0.2 Maybe it's yeah, server locking or yeah, yeah, soft locking or anything, and then okay. All right, let's let's teleport to this server ID. There's one, one. Let's just 
say my home, it's a Bravo 713 Bravo Charlie, because it's an angel server. Then I will announce the chat that I'm currently recording. Ah, oh, that's, that's the bell. So, you see any changes around here? Notice any differences to the update notes? I don't think I don't see any <laughs> notable difference between this and the patch. Yeah, it's just for some reason it goes out to the previous update and then it's the the patch. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, they censor YouTube for some reason, of course. So here are the concurrent players at this Angel server. And let's do this before, let's teleport the to Aircraft with Australia, Royal Australia Air Force liveries, 3130 from Edexon. And the 35A from Kirsten. Yes, that. Yes, that. Uh, not my channel. All right. Now then, let me read my notes. All right, so we'll look at the... <laughs> New boats released in the game, and we'll go by airport dealership. As in alphabetical order, not the order in the update notes. And some of you might have already seen Arch's video, but... <laughs> yep, he did. So first off is at Heinegrund. Oops, ah, why is that the text box? <laughs> Eins, zwei, drei. Alright, so leaves this comet or the boom. Never flown this in a while, the comet 4 beads. Overdue for a remodel, as well as this boom overture. Yeah, it's a resellable one, but I may need to log five hours before before selling it. 
So let's just use this for now. So here we are, the Anangun Regional Airport, the Pseudo Reykjavik in Iceland. Although it's, <laughs> its placement here is <laughs> so far from Iceland. Like, yeah, the this is Anangun, it looks Reykjavik, and then there's, there's Iceland. But where's Reykjavik? Do you know the exact place? It's around here. Reykjavik's here in reality. But anyways, let's check the dealership. And uh, this one, the skilled class Corvette. Royal Norwegian. All right, camouflage. So color one, you know, the the most of the color, the color color. So let's make it like a brown. This is approximate. Color two. Make it. Oh crap! All right, give me a, give me a minute for the internet connection to recover. This has been happening for a while now. I don't know what's wrong with telecom company? Yeah, probably the mobile companies are having an issue. But okay, it's back again. Now, I should have put a save point so, uh, to teleport again the the RAAF planes. As usual, it's the C-130, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's go back to Enegrun. Comment and then, in case we get disconnected again, let's uh, set the call sign. And we'll see if this is another lucky one. Real aircraft or government. Okay, 6013. Not listen on chat photos. Alright, so let's go back to the skill cast Corvette, which is on stock. Should I buy one? It also has zero capacity. Let's, let's say color one. It's, it's some kind of brown here. Let's, let's make this kind of brown. Color two. Some yellow. Let me make it orange. Yeah, it's a different kind of brown here. It's more red like this, but hmm. Well, let's just make this approximation here. It's, and color three. Yeah, this bar. Yeah, it goes with the camouflage. Just, let's make that gray or somewhat. So here's your skilled cal <laughs> skilled class Corvette. The next one is at Eisenhardt Air Force Base and 
not accepted that. So, so let's go back to point eight. And yeah, let's issue there. Go to Eisenhardt using the C5 Galaxy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's not much at Eisenhardt. So then, where is the boat? All the way at the bottom, we got. The Sea Wolf and the Sturgeon. So let's start first with the Sea Wolf. The submarine. Nuclear attack. Okay. Ninety-three. So, not not seventy-eight. So this would be an approximation. So color one. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can't you can't look underwater. Hope they'll change this soon. There's your color one. It's most of the hull. Um, color okay. color two is the nose. Yeah. Should be the same. You think it should be the same? Or? No, we'll just make it for reference. And then color three is the is the top. There we go. There's your sea wolf. For variety, reasonable cost, three hundred ninety thousand. Oh, not again. Uh, no. Okay. no, it's just a hiccup. And we'll get this connects more often, but Yeah, let's quickly go to Eisenhart and go back to that East Christ Child, the C5. Now we will go for the Sturgeon class. Smaller submarine. And not 78 again. It's, here we go. It's, there we go. Here's your color one. Your color two is the top. So there's no customizations around here. That's your color two, and now where to put color three? Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, oh, we got. Did we get the color three? Uh, yeah, it's probably under. Yeah, I guess. So there's your sturgeon. Really, your color three. If you toggle with your Y key, or or this only has a two color scheme, as in Wings World Five, or in previous versions of this game. So this is the Sturgeon class. Nineteen sixties.
Right, the next one is that Anakson, the pseudo Vagar. So let's let's go to Anakson. We'll use this, this yeah, the Connie from the Historical Aircraft Society. <laughs> supposed to move to some Australian airport as before. And where's this new boat? This one, the Visby class Corvette. Built for stealth. Swedish. It's all gray. So, color one. We need to make it silvery. Darker. Color two. Make it light. But like this. And oh, reset, reset. So. Okay, color one. Uh, color three is the bottom, the keel area. So let's make that aircraft black for now. So color one, and then we'll make this. Like this. And there's your Visby class. Stealth Corvette. Next, let's go to Fiskar. The pseudo Saint Martin in Havana. And that jet isn't there yet. Yeah, there's a red rare jet around here, according to Orange's video. A Soviet submarine, the Akula class. Six hundred twenty thousand wins points. So there's your color one. For color two, uh, the, the trim the front, and then color three. These squares, the Akula class. Do you still have this? No. I don't think. Yeah, strategically. <laughs> That's so weird, the technology. <laughs> Put it Havana. <laughs>
Now let's teleport to Gutke. The pseudo Rotterdam the Hag. And that let's take a review of this Concord livery. It's a Golf Dash Bravo Oscar Alpha Foxtrot. Not much detail on the wings. Yeah, this, yeah, I wish it could have been improved better, but yeah, yeah, yeah the public board should have all the on cord examples accounted for. Yeah, this the logo could have been closer to the nose. Hmm. Yeah, this is a, an old post. So we're here at Good K, the pseudo Rotterdam, the Hague in Netherlands, and here is the Sigma class. Royal Netherlands. Yeah, it's Dutch. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you hear that the Indonesian Navy, yeah, Mexican swell, yeah, which he says to, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I think it's the it's import. Yeah, it's meant for import. Alright, so it already comes this kind of grey, so probably the same artist as the the, the diamond. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the diamonds yeah, it's diamond stun. A modeler stripes are the colors so color one the front color two the back no not the yeah the rear of this the color three is the middle just for reference could have been approved further there here it is zero capacity <laughs> Here we go, that's the Sigma class. Middle for import. Dutch could have made Dutch could have their own. Yeah, uh, color yeah. Yeah, you know, color three is the middle. Yeah. Color one, the bottom of the flag, and color two the top. There's your Sigma class. Concord players. All right, let's now teleport to Himmelsburg. How do we get to Himmelsburg? All right, so we'll use one of my most. <laughs> Remember this, the the Do X. It's improved one of my previous videos. It just improved now. I just now it needs a livery. The trumpeter swan. <laughs> All right, so we got here a World War Two Unterseeboot. <laughs> the Type Seven C, or if we can say it in German, the Tip Seven C. Z. Ubud Classe Seven. Yeah, it's not Seven, it's Zeven. Yeah, so it's it's Tip Zeven Z under the sea boat. Right, 
so it's light gray. So. By 209. That's color one. Color two is the bottom. Color three is the deck. The tip seven C. Also, who knows what what is Kappa base? <laughs> Kappa base. Yeah, Kappa base. <laughs> I was going on to the next airport here. So, what do you think Himmelsburg Airport is based on, or inspired by? Let's now teleport to Kappa, the pseudo Satsuma Eoshima, for our next boat. <laughs> yeah, quote unquote boat. Which is you say KF twenty one. I could have typed there. Yeah. Well, just use this one D. The A six three zero. It's a generic Imperial Japanese Air Force or Navy livery. It's Air Force or yeah, I think it's I say yeah. So generic livery. So this one is on stock, a World War II destroyer, the Mutsuki. Mutsuki, the, the first lunar month of the Japanese calendar. We don't know if it's here. Okay, so color one, it's most of the hull. So this is your color one. And color two. And just these. Yeah, the walls. I guess they're red. Or, oh, there's some. Oh, it's, it's transparent. Oh. I see some transparency here. And color three. Color three. Like, yeah, at least here, so, you know, let's, let's make it red, you know, Maru. See the Hinomaru, yeah. Hinomaru. Yeah. Yeah, show some Japanese pride here. <laughs> the Mutsuki class. Let us now teleport to Kashio, the pseudo Chofu. And then, 
which one should we use here? Do we use the US and E or the <laughs> Oh yes. <laughs> yeah, this it's the the green one. <laughs> I I let uh, someone wanted to lend my <laughs> Yeah, I lent this one to someone, they logged almost 10 hours on it. So, what do you think of this livery, the pretty uh, 2A? It's uh, 63-8539. Yeah, it's a And on to Casio. So, moving alongside the Seawise class, we got not not Seawise class, there's just one Seawise in reality. The Spa Viero class patrol boat. Hydrofoil missile boat. So, call one's the hull and the, and the cannon. And the color to the the railings and the and the deck yeah and the the rest of the boat let's make this aircraft gray and then color three yeah, are these are these things they call what do you call these things it's are they? Yeah, these fan-like things. It's, it's part of the hydrofoil. Yeah, you can't remove them. I guess they're also white. Here is your Spavio class. Enjoy Italian and Japan. Right. Let's now teleport to Kitesboro International. <laughs> the pseudo San Diego. Alright. You want to teleport using this Globe and Globus? <laughs> what, do you th what do you think of this livery? The hybrid continental and uh, <laughs> you see this in the Evo Blue. It's it's black or a darker shade of blue, then yeah, it's a hybrid livery. The November 3751A, not, not 3751, yeah, 37516. And there's no detail on the inner engine sides. For some reason, right, fully detailed landing gear door. And uh, it's a mistake. Uh, the flag of the United States not facing the nose. I mean, not mirrored horizontally. Hope they would improve on this. And this goes the same to this one, the 737-900, which is owned by Olivia. And I thank him for this. 
what it shows Alaska instead of the older well said the other airline. Uh, once again, concurrent players. So it's basically the same. There's some some details missing. And the same, the flag of the United States is facing the tail instead of the the nose. And, and it could fix this further. Yeah, this, this could be further improved. We just teleport using this 737-900. So here goes Kitesboro, the pseudo San Diego dealership. And the boat. And it's blue rarity. The Zubwalt class. Guide missile destroyer. It's not just a like said, stealth ship. So it's there's some gray here. So color one, it's most of the hull. So how do we go stealth gray? How do we like this. It's just approximate. The color two, the bottom. The keel area, which is black. Uh, we can make it a darker black. Uh, there we go. Jet black. Color three is the deck. It's going to be a shade of gray. This shade yeah, looks consistent. There's the Zumwalt class stealth destroyer. <laughs> yeah. How detailed is this? <laughs> yeah, all these destroyers have zero capacity for some reason, but. I don't know, they're just, they look like saddle symbols. There's the top, and oh no! <laughs> um, Alright, just calm down, just make it, no, just... Ah. Yeah, this is always happening. Right, once again, the Zubwalt class, Stealth Destroyer. Let us now teleport to Linwood Joint Air Force Base. How do we teleport to Linwood? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Alright, so I have a lot to choose here. I like this Beluga. And its delivery is a bit <laughs> basic. It's not much detail. So. Uh, Foxtrot Dash, Golf, Sierra, Tango, Alpha. Could be further improved. Uh, it's, the, it's the G logo on the engines. Or at least, is this part of delivery? Hmm. And this could be further improved. The house livery. One. On the side. And there's another B2 here. This is probably the same artist. And this one, the Spirit of Missouri. And this, is this an old rendition? But anyway, let's 
I'm still using this B2. Alright, so we got three new watercraft. And, you know, joining the Sea Shadow and the Zodiac, we got three of these. It's uh, one is 270,000, one is 930,000, the other is four. Oh, 48 million. It's yeah, zero, one, two, three, yeah, four million eight hundred thousand. Let's start first with the Los Angeles. Oh. Is it 93 or 96? Yeah, yeah. Let me look at this again. Yeah, 93. <laughs> Uh, research, research, research. Yeah, darker. It's way darker. Thirty-nine, forty-four, forty-seven. Just for reference, the Los Angeles class. Color two the top and the <laughs> here. Let's we'll just use the same thirty nine. There we go. For color three. Fish. The Los Angeles class submarine. The Angel Sub. Get it? Angel Sub? The Nivets class aircraft carrier. So it only also has zero capacity. What? Okay, so okay, zero and zero. So yeah, most yeah, they're not officially they're just like boats in general, status symbols. So wait, it's does this look like always just learn about? Yeah, it does look like learn about. <laughs> Only more proper. So reference, there's the color one. Where's the color one? Uh, there we go. The color one is the hull. And the, the bridge. So we need to make it like like a gray, some kind of gray around here. Like this color one, and the color two is the deck. And then color three, it's the top of the bridge. And here's your. Nimitz class aircraft carrier. I can't zoom out any further. So decide yourself if you want to buy this.
here is the Sacramento class support ship. According to the wiki, the the fast combat support ship. So there's your color one. Most of the, the hull. The color two or the crane. Oh, Cranes? Or, yeah, just, are these cranes? And then color three is the deck. Here's the Sacramento class. Let's go back to support ship. All right, let's teleport off from Linwood Joint Air Force Base, the pseudo Charleston, to North Ayakshev. Is that right? Yeah, next one's at North Ayakshev, so we could use the on, don't know if I've seen this yet, or what, what other is at North Ayakshev? Um, yeah, these. The support still need to be remodeled. Yeah, yeah yet to be remodeled. And then, how about this one? Let's take a live review of this Mikoyan Project 1.42 MFI Flux Glove. It's a generic Russian Aerospace Force livery. Could be further improved. All right, so at Arthasha, where are the boats? There's a Beluga class and a Typhoon class. So, these two submarines. It's a lot of gray there. Color one, that's most of the submarine. But Get that kind of gray, this kind of gray. The color two of the the implements. Yeah, mostly gray too. Lovely. Yeah, it's some kind of black like this, and then color three. Uh, these squares. The Beluga class. <laughs> yeah, the coach. Yeah, I think I did. I mix up. One of the largest submarines in history, the Typhoon class. Yeah, it's also a cooler. <laughs> 
Yeah, we're going to the wiki. It says here it's. So there we go. So we know the color one, the hall, and then well, it's the majority of the summary. And color two, you know, the missile doors and the, the other implements. And color three is where is color three? Yeah, there's maybe it's the bottom. Yeah, I guess it's the bottom, which get the... Yeah, it would be red. Yeah, it's some shade of red. Yeah, I can't... Yeah, for some reason it's... <laughs> oh! jack o larger moon So, in summary, it's the Beluga and the Typhoon. Let us now teleport to Novarod's Air Force Base. If you see. Yeah, Novarod's. <laughs> so they still have to remove the, uh, the Susrok Sim. Already log around 5 hours to this one. And also the Lund Class Econoplan. Ground effect vehicle. And what do you think of this? Soviet Navy livery. Could someone make a better of this? All right, so we got an the Osa class and the Bore class. So here's the Osa class. The 1950s. Yeah, 1960s. And so color one is white. Or shade of white. Color two, yeah, the, what are these, missiles? Yeah, the missile base. So they're also white. What kind of white am I doing here? Oh yeah, the scaling is, now yeah, why is this scaling like this? Yeah, look at this. If I press the center, it, it would lead to this purple here. Why, why is this happening? And color three is the deck. What's the deck for brown? Let's see. Okay. And just for reference. Yeah, more red. Like this. The Osa class, 1960s missile boat. So, turret there.
here's the Bore class submarine. Recon wind. The north wind. <laughs> So there's your color one. Then color three, the missile doors. And color two is the housing. It's just the entrance. Let's just make that same color. Yeah, what the use are these submarines? Yeah, this is yeah, preemptive. So what do you think Novaras Air Force Base is based on? Or the inspiration? Here's for reference if we want to see what Now let's teleport to Rissarosh, the pseudo Kaluga airport. And here's a. Some coin going to reach me. What sort of yet are? Not just any. It's a improved variant. I don't know what it is, let's say. Yeah, 9.19 SMT spec. Oh, there's more variants of this one, so. Hmm. So it's just 9.19. This is uh, yeah, out of order. <laughs> I mean, not really kaput, but out, the ordering is off. Yeah, all these are the same, but the sub-variant, these are different now, so the full auction is A, then SD, that's... Alright, so they just improved the... <laughs> it will now be specific, it will have your feeling probe, this is, this is 12A, and this is 12D SD, it has a feeling probe, and then... This one, 913S, 913S, and SMP spec. There we go. This is a different kind of refueling probe. Now you can have Peruvian Air Force. <laughs> and this is static. What an improvement there. So 13S, and this is 13BM. And you also got the 19 SMT. This is retractable. So this one, retractable. So what an improvement for the meaning to what set they've got. And what do you think of this livery? It's specifically this one, 9.19. Vivius Rossi. <laughs> Yeah, we should have waited at daytime. Just take the full use of this. <laughs> and there we go, that's the, um, the revised revised customization of the Migwasa Deviat. 
So we're back at the Rissarosh, Sudokaluga Airport, and where is the new boat? The T5 class. Mortar torpedo boat. So World War Two. <laughs> Okay, I don't see any more the color ones. Okay, we can use this as the color one. So, all right, the color one, and the top of the deck, the top deck. I'll just use this as reference. Caller 2 is the bridge. And the and antennae holders. So must be around. So it must be around <laughs> same as the hall. What's the top? And then caller three is where is caller three? It's not the flag. <laughs> Nope, not the flag. Yeah, it's, yeah maybe it's on the two of the curls game, or it's in the bottom. Like this. Just make it some kind of red like this. There we go. And oh, yeah, the. Yeah, the. It's, we'll just make that black. Or this kind of gray. And the bridge frame. So color one, the deck, color two, the bridge, and color three, the the deck frame, the windows. There's your G5, the G5 class mortar torpedo boat. And were this meant to be forward or? torpedo boat it's not a submarine <laughs> yeah so I don't know where the, how did they is it from the bottom yeah it would be launching from here Gun. There's your G5 class. And let us now teleport to Sandris. International Airport, the pseudo Berlin Brandenburg. And how do we get to Sandris? <laughs> you know, yeah, someone wanted to buy this fucker <laughs> double decker <laughs> Zeven. Hmm. Hmm. But what can we teleport with? Hmm. We can use this, the. <laughs> There was a 4300 with a high fly Malta livery. It's a, it's a nine hotel dash Sierra uniform November. Nine inch sun. What do you think of this high fly livery? Could be further improved. Could have, had some, could have had its own wings ID with the text underneath. But it could be way better when the A340 family gets a remodel. You get the Generation 2. <laughs> yeah. We'll just teleport for this one. Alright, so the boat for this one is 
Not the Leo class, not the cruise ship, yeah. The Admiral Hipper class light aircraft carrier. Life specifically at Berlin. Kriegsmarine, what they say in that Soviet. Oh. Okay, I don't see any color images here, so we'll just make it dark as possible. So, color one, it's most of the deck. So let's, let's make this black. Yeah, we can increase it like this 101, 103, 104. Then, color two is. The takeoff and landing strip. This should be red, right? Or yellow? What do you think? And color three is the the other markings. Well, just for reference, it's all white for some reason. The Admiral Hipa class, light aircraft carrier. And we can see the inside of this, there are light boats. And some you know, patrol boats. Yeah, we can't zoom out further for some reason. It's dark. So, you know, the windows. The flat cannons. The last one is sold at Sully. So let's teleport to Sully, the pseudo Kakbi, Vietnam. Oh, <laughs> yes, that's right. I, I can reuse here. All right, let's. We got two things we can refit you here. The eight refit freighter. It has Eddie Hod Airways as a car. Now, what do you think? It looks like an old submission. Is it new? And the A350 freighter is about to release next year? Or two years from now? So it's uh, Alpha 6, Fox Shot Fox Dash. <laughs> yeah, Alpha 6, Dash, Fox Shot Fox Shot Alpha. If that's going to be the first one for Eddie Had. And it has. Yeah, for some reason, it's probably a generic wind ID, it has a red wing, yeah, red tips on the fairings. It, it shouldn't have had for Eddie Hod, though. At least on their Adrian 15 1000s. Or this one. It's Boeing 737-800. It's a Papa Kilo dash Golf. Mike uniform and it's a special got it in the dish delivery <laughs> so this uh, Pikachu jet Geasatu the Pikachu jet GA1 yeah yeah they're separated by a dash for some reason it's unlike the others like like Tway or <laughs> Skymark <laughs> Yeah. Instead of just gas, <laughs> not gas, it's gasatu. So it doesn't need a dash. 
between them. And what do you think of this livery? Could it be further improved? Guts. Yeah, pika pika. <laughs> That's uh, and all right. I think there's some yeah the Pikachu cheeks. It's darker. Or I think this side this side of the livery is darker than this one. And if we if it was daytime, you wouldn't see that the cheeks are not much as red. It's, yeah, this side has darker colors, though. I hope they would, uh, post a new one with the correction on this side. So for reference, it's, uh, <laughs> golf bike uniform. I hope it changes soon. All right, then. So going with the Rosenrot, here's the, <laughs> the River Inn Monitor. Let's say a river patrol vessel uh, from the Vietnam War. That's uh, So it could be military green. So. Uh, how do we think it's military green like this? For reference, here is color one. And color two, the roof. Oh, each of the shelters here. It's, we could make it yellow or lighter form of green. Something like this. And we know what color three is. The star hmm? should be yellow, some kind of gold, or is it just plain white? What do you think? It should be. It should remain white. But here is the Vietnam War era rivering monitor for the United States Navy. Yeah, it's the Navy. And I guess this is the napalm launcher. Or it's just a normal cannon. Yeah, the night is annoying for looking at this. More lighting? And there we go, that's all for the newly released boats, submarines, uh, and uh, those in between. The battleships. That's your river and monitor. Now then, let's take a <laughs> Quick teleport to Amaras, the pseudo Madeira for the child in Portugal. Or was it Spain? Or yeah, it's settled around a little bit. Yeah, it's probably yeah. Let's teleport to pseudo Madeira using this jet to holidays. Airbus A321-200. What do you think of this livery? players it's a golf dash hotel lima yankee alpha
Oh, we're not looking at this. <laughs> oh, this was what I was thinking. Okay, so... What was that performance? Uh, you can now... You can now look at park air... Park static aircraft... Yeah, you can park static... Yeah, park static, yeah. You can now look at static craft at... The Sun of Madeira, Amaras. Is this part of the update notes? Okay, yeah, we got hop. Yeah, this is also hop. We got the salut or salut. It's Viviat and also Viviat. Yeah, and we'll also have <laughs> yeah red tips on the fairings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Airbuses at least. Yeah, this is this uh, A three twenty one Neo. <laughs> Early rendition, yeah. Early rendition, and oh, this has this has the cabin flex arrows and the wings ID. Yeah. Better fix this as soon as possible. And this one doesn't have emergency arrows on the wings ID. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's uh, you call it fatal mistake. For presentation purposes. Uh, oh, oh, I already pressed it. <laughs> I didn't know it was still there. Right. Okay, let's say goodbye to the static aircraft. Alright, they're all gone. Alright, what else can we look here? All right, most of the updates. Oh yes, I forgot from the last update. The new and improved credits menu, not not menu. The new and improved credits interface. Interface. So we got the game creator. There's Ivan, and then the lead developer is Eve Rice. And some senior developers and the developers and contributors. And then we got some art and some of the development staff were already retired and technically some of them are not. Yeah, tired and some are retired. So. And some con community contributors. And special thanks. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Back to the menu. 